Yo, Morrow, check out all this cool stuff I got us at BlizzCon. Michelle? Are you using thermal off the camo? Quit playing. What up, y'all? Hope you had a great weekend, and welcome back to Bleacher Report's daily esports show, Estream. I'm your host, Malik Forte, and this past weekend, BlizzCon 2016 took place down in Anaheim, and Michelle and I were on hand to cover up the major announcements, esports tournaments, cosplay, and music performances. In case you missed it, I'm going to break it all down for you, starting right now. BlizzCon 2016 went down on Friday with major announcements and reveals for all of Blizzard's AAA titles. Overwatch kicked things off when Sombra hacked her way into opening ceremony and was revealed as the newest hero in the game. A lot of people are wondering, is she a good guy or is she a bad guy? It appears that she's bad because she's working with Reaper and Widowmaker and they're members of Talon who is considered to be the villains of Overwatch, but at the same time she seems to have her own agenda, so I'd say she's more like an anti-hero. She's an attack character, she has a machine pistol that shoots kind of like Tracer's gun except the clips is way bigger. She can hack players, has thermal optic camo that allows her to cloak herself and move a lot faster, a translocator that allows her to teleport across the map, and of course her alt is an EMP ability which knocks out the abilities of all opposing teammates in the area. So uh, kind of OP and will definitely come in handy in team fights. Uh, Overwatch also plans to release two new maps for the game, an all new arcade mode that's 1v1 or 3 versus 3. Blizzard also announced that they are creating an Overwatch League where pro players will receive guaranteed contracts, benefits, and much more. Michelle and I will break down this newly announced league later this week. Hearthstone announced their latest expansion, the Mean Streets of Gadgetzan, which introduces new cards based on Gadgetzan factions, tri-class cards, and the ability to create customized spells. What does that mean for the meta of the game in esports? Michelle and I will tackle that on this Wednesday's episode. Finally, Heroes of the Storm announced two more characters that will make their way into the Nexus. Warcraft Alliance leader Varian Wynn will be playable next Tuesday, and Ragnaros will debut in December. What was your favorite announcement at BlizzCon? Was it Sombra, Overwatch League, Gadgetzan, something else? Let us know at BR underscore Estream. Now, several major esports tournaments finals took place at BlizzCon over the weekend, including the Overwatch World Cup, where teams from around the world battled it out to find out who the best was, South Korea flew by all the competition, sweeping Russia 4-0 to become the first World Cup champion. And here's the post-game press conference. Check it out. Congratulations, you just won uh, the World Cup here at BlizzCon for Overwatch. Just how does that feel and how does it feel to represent South Korea and win? It's great, it's exciting. One of the big storylines heading into this series, which was your matchup against Shadowburn, I feel like you managed to handle him very effectively, especially with some strong play from Arhan. But what do you think were the keys in controlling the damage players on Team Russia? So the Russia's main strategy that we saw was Genji's Shadows versus Genji with Nano Boost. And every time that happens, we try to uh, counter it, and especially with Arhan's uh, chase after, after the Genji, Shadow versus Genji. So a long time in Korea, FPS games haven't been the most popular. I think the only thing I can think of is Sudden Attack. Uh, in the country where games like League of Legends, StarCraft are so popular, how did each of you players get into Overwatch to begin with? So before in Korea and those other games, there wasn't a lot of attention and there, were, there was a big thirst for a new game. And at the right timing, Overwatch came out. So a lot of the, um, a lot of the underground players, on, instead of the mainstream players, came over to Overwatch and that's how they got to Overwatch as well. So even with Overwatch being a, more of a new movement in shooters in Korea, do you think Korea can stand on top of the world throughout the competitive scene? Because we just heard about the Overwatch League being announced. A lot of these other countries and regions are a lot more experienced in FPS play. How will Korea stack up in the future? It doesn't really matter if the experience or the history, whether it's new or old. It's, it's really about who survives at the end. So we believe that. We believe that uh, this new FPS slash MOBA, new genre, is going to put us to the first. Looking ahead towards future tournaments, uh, are you excited to test out Sombra? And how do you think it will affect your gameplay in future uh, tournaments? In the next two months, the Sombra will be will create this clash of new meta versus the old meta. And, in, and after two months, it's gonna uh, he 
foresees that Sombra is going to be part of the new meta. Did you find that as playing playing with all these different regions from all over the world that uh, they had distinctly different approaches to certain maps or certain uh, compositions as compared to what you find uh, commonly in the domestic Korean league? In terms of our team's play style, we, we call it rough, where it's on spot spontaneous. We react uh, instantaneously without having a set of plan. And that's how we destroy the other teams. So, yeah. After this league, you guys will be going back to your own teams. So as And you guys won't probably get back together anytime soon. How do you feel about that? Compared to other teams who were able to practice before coming in here, our team could not practice, uh, could not have any court corporation practice until they got here. And the, the results came out really great, so he's going to miss it a lot. Although I'm part of uh, Lunatic High team, and, but then when he first came here, he met these guys, and these guys are so nice. They're the best guys in the world. So if I can, although impossible, he wants to bring all the Lunatic High into this team and work together. So Blizzard made a new pro league for the Overwatch. So as a player side, how do you feel like you're going to do in the pro leagues? As a coach slash player, uh, I, I saw it coming, but I did not expect that it would be this huge in, in terms of scale. And as for our player side, uh, and his team, speaking for his team, he feels more uh, stable in, in having into this kind of league so that, yeah, he has something to do uh, regularly. And that's a wrap for today. If you want more e-stream and esports news, download Bleacher Report's team stream app on your phone and select which specific sports, teams, and esports titles you want to follow and get updates on. And follow us on Instagram and Twitter at BR underscore eStream. Our BlizzCon coverage continues tomorrow with Heroes of the Storm and 2016 Hearthstone World Champion Pavel. Peace out, y'all.